All right, guys, here's a video on attacking the liver. The liver is a super damaging uh, target to attack. It can end a fight immediately. We got the lead hook to the body, we got the knee, and we got the round kick. Hope you guys enjoy this video. All right, so we're gonna talk about some different ways to attack the liver, proper ways to attack the liver, and maybe touch on some mistakes you are making while attacking the liver. So let's just keep in mind that the liver is basically sitting right underneath this floating rib, inside this floating rib, that's basically like two, three inches underneath the nipple right here. So it's, it's I think a lot higher than people tend to realize, and it's on the right side of the body. So think that, you know, this is why we always talk about southpaws having like an immediate advantage is because all their power side weapons are going right towards that liver side. So generally speaking, southpaws have a natural advantage just from the anatomy of the human body. So when, because this liver is hiding up underneath the floating rib, you really wanna be attacking the liver on a 45 degree angle, whether that's taking place with your hook, your knee, your round kick, whatever it is, you wanna be digging up and into the body on that 45 degree angle. So we'll talk about maybe the most common way to attack the liver, which is gonna be that lead hook to the body. I love the lead hook to the body. I think that it's a super effective weapon. If you checked out our, our YouTube video on filling up the space, once you get that, that space filled up and you can plant your feet, that's a great time to dig that liver shot. So a couple things I wanna make sure is going on with the liver shot. Sometimes I'll see people throw this liver shot and they're getting a little out of balance and out of whack. So they start kind of pivoting this rear foot around as they dig that liver shot. You wanna make sure that your feet are already in good position. You know, if I was gonna deadlift, if I was gonna squat, I would never start a deadlift or a squat from this position. I would make sure my feet are firmly planted. I can get a good lift from this position. So I wanna make sure that as I'm digging this liver shot, those are kind of the elements that I'm paying attention to and keying up on, okay? So I'm in a good athletic base. My feet are firmly planted on the ground. And then again, this left hook to the body is digging up on this 45 degree angle. You should have good weight distribution. I don't wanna to be too heavy on my lead leg. I don't wanna be pulling back too far on my rear foot where I really can't dig up. You wanna find some gray area and some good balance between the two. So again, digging into that liver, 45 degree angle. My rear hand is nice and tight. My rear elbow is nice and tight. One of the things you wanna think about after hitting this liver hook is just making sure that you tag something on the end of it. I love a lead hook after, boom. I love a cross after, boom. You just wanna be careful that you're not finishing to the body. If it's defended well, it's a really easy position for Brandon to start countering me in. Yeah, an elbow will be super damaging, an uppercut, whatever it is. So you just wanna add something to the head just to kind of keep you safe. The liver can still be kind of the key element, but you wanna use some things to keep you safe. And then just getting into position because I wanna keep my feet set, you know, Brandon's not gonna allow me to just get my feet set and throw that lead hook to the body. So you can set it up with a jab, Stepping in on the jab, you can set it up with a jab cross, putting yourself in position. I can set it up with slipping Brandon's cross and getting to the inside and hitting that liver shot. So, you know, you want to disguise it in some fashion, some form. You can even fake the right hand and get in position. But again, we just want to make sure that we have good solid legs and a good solid base. Okay, so another really great way to attack that liver is with the knee. Okay. That lead knee, the left knee, obviously if you're southpaw, it's again, such an advantage because it's already your power side driving towards that liver. But you wanna make sure that again, we got a good solid foundation, my switch is strong, or my step is strong. I'm leaning back as I drive my hips forward. That's not only gonna help my balance, but also gonna give me a lot more power as I drive into that knee. And maybe if that rear knee is on center mass right down the middle, I want to attack the liver again kind of on that 45 degree angle, touching that liver right up underneath. Um, and you can set it up really the same way that we were talking about with that lead hook to the body, right? I can do it off a cross. Oh, sorry. I can do it off a cross to the switch knee. Do it off a jab cross. Even if Brandon's throwing his cross, I can parry. Boom, hit that liver right underneath that cross. That's a great way to utilize the weapon. And just like we were talking about where the lead hook is easily countered, this switch knee and the step knee can be easily countered as well. So you just wanna make sure that you have some form of defense. Maybe I'm clinching or clinching. 
Maybe my hands are just up in a good solid foundation. So if Brandon defends well and throws back, I have good defense on the way out. So attacking the liver is always gonna put you in a position where you're, generally speaking, a little bit closer, particularly with that lead hook to the body and the switch knee. So you just wanna make sure you got a good tight base, you're athletically sound and you're defensively sound. Our last option is gonna be this left kick. Okay, again, going back to the southpaw stance. That's why it's so advantageous because I can just span this kick from southpaw, make Brandon have to go through that kick. And if he's doing the same thing with his right leg, that's fine, but he doesn't have the benefit of attacking the liver, which can completely shut a fight down right off the bat. So, you know, you can set this up the same way off the jab, off the cross, staying long. But again, what we're talking about is this 45 degree angle, making sure that I'm really digging up underneath that rib to that liver. Okay, same thing. I wanna be defensively sound. I wanna make sure if I'm swinging the arm, that's cool to generate a lot of power, but then I wanna get back into good position afterwards, okay? So we got the lead hook to the body, we got the switch knee, and we got that left kick. And the left kick can be thrown just like off the cross. How I was carrying the cross to the knee, Brandon throws that cross, and I can get right up underneath to the liver as well. So attacking the liver, super beneficial, can shut down a fight, Basically immediately, we got the lead hook, we got the knee, and we got the round kick. So play with that, it's a great tool to use, even in sparring, because you're not really hurting somebody by touching that liver, but it can completely end a fight. Have fun. There was our video on attacking the liver. I hope you guys got a lot of benefit from that video. And again, play with that in sparring, right? It's not a very you know, damaging shot that's gonna put somebody down forever. They're gonna get back up, they're gonna be fine. So sparring is a great way to get used to attacking the liver.